So I uh, really like my iPhone. I do. It's true. Itchy. It's very windy outside today. It's blowing a gale. I think it's uh, called Storm. I think it's called Storm Gareth. Not sure why. Is it the people that find them or the people that who names the storms? Why don't they ever have cool names like Storm Patrice or that's not a, is that a cool name? Storm Storm Ruggiero or something like you know just something cool. But no, it's, it's, they usually end up called Storm Doris or I I don't know I don't know who makes the rules. Storm Gareth outside anyway, um, blowing a gale. Gaza for short. It's a Gaza Gale, yeah. Anyway, I'm here to talk about uh, doing a quick edit on an iPhone. I use my iPhone for all sorts of different things. It's a great bit of kit. I use it for photography when I've not got my main gear on me. I will take photos on my iPhone. I've taken some beautiful photos on my iPhone. Uh, and I'm gonna do it, actually, I am gonna do a, um, a video based on iPhone photography at some point soon so watch out for that but for now I just wanted to do a quick edit on on the iPhone and, uh, and show you the kind of things that I get up to um, and, and some of the apps that I use to edit uh, my iPhone photos yeah actually this this photo a bit of a cheat really because um, this photo wasn't taken on my iPhone funnily enough this was taken on my uh, Canon G1X Mark II it's a great camera to have in your pocket um, and it's got this great feature on it where uh, via Wi-Fi you can chuck all your photos from the Canon straight to your iPhone wherever you are in the world. It just links up and you can download stuff straight to your phone which is great because then you can use the apps on your phone to do quick edits and send them to Instagram or whatever other social media that you use, put them on Facebook, whatever, whatever it is, yeah. Um, so this is kind of, I'm just going to show you a little process of how I work. Um, with the iPhone and some of the apps that I use. So, uh, yeah. So, first of all, I'm just going to open up Snapseed. Now, Snapseed is my go-to app, really, for doing um, anything, any any corrections on an image that I quite like. Uh, if I want to do edits on the bounce, if I've got a, an image on my phone, I just want to do a quick edit to, and as I say, send it off to Instagram or something like that. Snapseed's kind of my go-to bit of kit. Uh, it's free, so you can download it. It's absolutely awesome. Get using it straight away. Now, so I've got this image in here. So I'm just going to open an image. Um, let's go have a look at that one. Let's go with this one here and open that up in Snapseed. Now, quite like that. It's off the Canon, as I said, the Canon G1X. But what I'm going to do with it is just um, go up to here and tune image. Now inside tune image, if you just put up, you can get all the options up. And I'm going to add a bit of ambi ambience to the image, which just punches the colour and just brightens it across the board a little bit. I'm going to add a bit of brightness too, just to punch it out a little bit. That looks good. Contrast, just take that up a tiny bit. Uh, I'm just going to bring those highlights up. Yeah, just brighten that image a little bit. Shadows, just bring the shadows up very slightly. So you can just get a bit of detail on that jacket. I'm going to go with that. Let's have a look. It's not bad at all. Okay. I always export things out that I'm happy with. Okay, export that. I'm going to do a bit more work to this though first. So back to tools. I'm going to look for black and white. Um, I'm going to just play with, the, you've got all sorts of options if you scroll through. It's got some presets that are really quite good, but I like, always like to sort of get my thing, get my images just right. So obviously pushing up again, you can just bring the options up. If you move your thumb up like that. Um, I'm just going to go put the brightness on that a bit as well. Just take the contrast down very slightly. There, something like that. That looks good to me. I'm going to export that out. Brilliant, okay. So I'm kind of happy with that image, yeah? So the next thing I'm gonna do is open up Pixar. Now Pixar is a great um, little app and I've used this for years as well. It's great for just putting color washes and you know different elements across your images. So I'm just gonna open up that image we've saved down back to the camera roll. There it is. So I just wanna put a, a kind of a yellow, full yellow color wash across this. Now there's all sorts of different things you can see. All sorts of different presets that you can use. They're all very lovely. They'll do different things or give you different moods. I'm just going to use this yellow one here that puts a bit of a cast across the image like that. 
you can control it up and down with a slider how much you want i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna belt this up to 100 percent because i can't like i quite like that sort of fully washed out yellow through the image basically changing the whites in the image and putting a yellow who putting a yellow hue through the image rather than the whites i wish i could speak sometimes just can't speak um so that's good i'm going to save that out done okay save the image back to my camera roll it's gone that's brilliant uh, now the next app i'm going to use is this one called jello now this is great this is just it's a very simple app and i don't use it often but it's great for just putting a bit of a color wash um, like a gradient wash through the image if you want to at some point so i'm just going to open up the image that we've made um, so far and then i'm going to scroll around the colors and you see it's got all sorts of different colors here and you've got options and using these colors as well so i'm going to do this nice kind of pink color there now you've got options with how this affects the image uh, if you click on that little icon at the top that just click there you can move these spots around uh, and these control basically how harsh the gradient is going to appear across the image so i've got that about right i want it to sort of come very gradually across the image like that i'm happy with that hit okay yeah that's looking good not too bad so i'm going to save that out just going to prepare the image uh, i'm going to open this in um snapseed so i'm just going to send it to snapseed straight away because i want to keep editing it okay there that's where we've got so far looking good yeah not bad at all not too shabby um and now i just want to it's, it's kind of dulled a little bit because i've done some stuff to it in other apps it kind of just knocks the image back a little bit so i just want to punch that image again so again i'm going to go to tools uh i'm going to go to ambience and just push that up a slightly get those colors a bit stronger contrast going to pull that up very slightly i'm going to brighten it just a bit more there that's looking about right and maybe those highlights just bring the highlights up again like that yeah i'm going to export that out like i say i always export things out just so i've got like a a process of what i've done in case i need to go back and re-edit somehow i suppose like you know in in photoshop you've got layers you don't have options of layers um in, in this using this type of app in the, in these type of apps so i kind of like i like my process i like to sort of be able to go back sometimes if i want to and change part of an image that i've done so i end up saving multiple saves uh depending on what i've done with the image to, uh, moving through the process of what i've done with the image it's just something i do you know uh, okay so pretty happy with that also what i'm going to do like now you can explore snapseed it, it's awesome it's got loads of different features one of the things that i really like is this grainy film so i've clicked on the grainy film there uh, i don't like the grain i do like the grain in in some aspects to some images but i don't want the grain in this image particularly so i'm just going to sort of go to the grain and pull that back and make sure there's no grain in it but i do like the style these sort of different styles you can sort of scroll through and it'll show you how these different styles affect the image i'm just going to go through a few to show you what the options are um just all, all just very slightly different sort of treat the image very slightly differently let's have a look which one do i want i think i'm gonna kind of like that washed out nurse a bit of blue in there let's have a look what we've got back up here one of these strong ones i think uh, let's keep going back to that i quite like that so let's go with that this time okay i like that uh we've lost a bit of the red so i'm just going to go back into tune image i'm just going to push the saturation up a little bit there kind of like that there okay let's go with that not too bad not too bad it's looking good okay i'm going to save that out as i say always export my stuff out quite happy with that now the thing that snapseed does as well is it reintroduces you can do like a like a double exposure over the top of the image which is quite cool so i'm going to go down hit double exposure there i'm going to go and get the original image and this is one of the reasons that i said it's good to always to save the processes so each time i do something to an image in an app i save it out and make sure that you know i i have these things to go back to if, if i want to do something else with them and in this instance that's really going to work for me so i'm going to go and hit um open the camera roll i'm going to look for that initial image that i did in black and white there now i've laced this over the top i'm just going to pull it large so it affects the image like so quite like that there i'm just going to make sure that i cover the initial image of mine 
Um, so I've got both faces in like that, quite like that there. Uh, and also this little teardrop down here, you can sort of um, use this slider to show how much it affects that image, how much that second exposure is coming through. I'm just gonna take it down a little bit. I just want it to be kind of like a, a shadow almost. And then you've got your presets as well, how that punches through to the image. And you can have a look at each one of those and, and to see how that's being affected like that. Quite like that one, it's a bit interesting. Is it a bit harsh? I don't know, can we uh, just pull it down a bit more? Something like that there, okay. Okay, that, export it out again, brilliant. Saved out, and that's the image we're, we're looking at at the moment. Now, um, I think I just want to wash it out a little bit more, so I'm gonna go back into the tools. Let's have a look. There are, I quite like these, these retro looks and vintage. Let's look at the vintage ones. Have a little scroll through and see what they do. Look at the presets, click on each one. See if there's anything interesting there. No, nothing really feeling, so I'm gonna go and have a look at retro looks, which just makes these images kind of a bit, almost like there's lots of light leaks and, and, and textures coming through. So it gives you some options on kind of like um, what you can do with those. And you can change them. Um, a lot of them have like a texture or sort of like a, like almost like there's some dirt on the image. You know, it's a style um, that's quite nice at times, but I, I want to take the dirt out so you can do. So the scratches, I'm just going to pull those back to make sure there's no actual scratches in there. The style strength, you can scroll that up and down. Um, saturation of the image, you can sort of punch that out, punch that through on here as well. So the tools are really sort of, they're not, they're not bad at all. You can do quite a lot to them, to the image in each of the tools. Uh, I'm gonna do that there, let's have a look at that. I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, let's just have a look up. Now, just double clicked to zoom in, just to see how it's all looking. It's not too bad, I quite like that. I'm gonna save that out. I think I just did anyway, so we'll save it out again. If I've got the two of them, I'll just delete one, it's absolutely fine. So I'm quite happy with that image. And again, you know, um, What's that been for five or ten minutes? Not really done too much to it, but it's you know, I've got something that's interesting. I can post that out to Instagram, uh, you know, and I'm quite happy moving forward to do something else. So, just on the bounce, it's really nice to sort of edit images on the bounce, and these apps on the iPhone allow you to do that and get some pretty good results, to be honest with you, um, especially if you start playing around with them and using them in conjunction with each other. Uh, you can get some really fantastic effects and some fantastic results. And if you want to put a bit of text in there as well, you can because like obviously Snap Snapseed and some of the other apps have this option for you as well. So now I'm happy with that, I can I can save it out. It's gone to my camera roll. I can go and have a look just to check what it is. I can do some other stuff to it if I wanted to, but I could, you know, that's quite nice. I'm quite happy with that. It's a little bit interesting. I could crop it maybe and make it a bit different. Uh, you can do all sorts, you can put lens flares in. There are, you know, these apps that, that you can sort of add lens flares. There's a great one here called Lens Flare, <laughs> funnily enough. Does what it says on the tin, you know. Uh, but you can, you know, these, these, these are a series of, of stuff, of, of apps that I use. Um, this is a great one. LD is a great one, actually. If I just go and pop into there, go and find the image that I've just done. And you can put like a, you know, a bit of a flare in there like that save that out you know you keep messing around you can you can play as much as you like or as little as you like um but it's a really you know using apps in conjunction with each other and just messing around and doing multiple saves i know it takes a bit probably a bit of space on your phone but you can always you know take these things off your phone send them to the cloud or put them on a hard drive or stuff like that i just find for me in my process that it's good to have these things it's good to have the multiple saves it's good to be able to reuse images and sort of do something different with them at another time. I, I certainly find when editing, you know, you can do one thing uh, with an image and then kind of, I don't know, run out of ideas a little bit sometimes, especially if you're sort of distracted or a bit busy. Um, uh, and then you can come back to it and go, oh, do you know what? Uh, I can see what I want to do with that now. And then go back to it, take it into these apps and, you know, finish it off and make sure it's it's the best it can be sort of thing. So uh, it really is worth playing around with these different things and sort of getting the best out of the image that you can do. So that's it, yeah, I'll, um, 
I'll put a list of the apps that I use underneath this video for you if you want to go and check them out. Like I say, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not getting paid anything to say these things at all. Um, it, they are just, I just wanted to make a video about this because these are my processes and these are how I, uh, these are how I edit my photos, kind of on the bounce when I'm, when I'm just using my iPhone for, for, for creativity and stuff like that. So I hope this has been interesting. I hope it's been useful. Um, have a bash yourselves, yeah? And certainly leave me some comments in the comment section and tell me how you've got on with those things. Um, I'd like to hear about them, to be honest with you. I'd like to hear how you've got on. Or if you've got any uh, apps that you use that perhaps I have not mentioned in this video that, that you think you know, could, could do with being recommended to people, I'll have a listen to those, certainly. I'm always up for looking at different ideas and, um, and to see how other people, you know, go about their processes of creativity and stuff like that. So that would be fantastic. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, that's editing on an iPhone. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, bit of a quick tutorial, uh, just a quick one. And uh, I'll uh, see you next time. But uh, till then, take it easy. Bye for now.